here from Minifig Man Cave with the first LEGO Star Wars 2014 set review. This is on a set from the new Micro Fighter sub theme. This is set number 75028, Clone Turbo Tank. It's recommended for ages 6 through 12. So here is the Micro Fighter's Clone Turbo Tank, and uh, it's actually pretty cool. It looks pretty much like a normal just turbo tank. Um, you've got two flick missiles on the sides here, which you can get to pretty easily and just either push or f flick out of the little holders there. So that's a nice little feature, I suppose. Um, got the little cannons on the front there. Some uh, dark red detailing, which is nice. Uh, got the little there on the back here, and then this is like where the little lookout post is on the full scale thing. And then we got the front and back areas, of course, and then this is where the uh, trooper minifigure will sit. Uh, as this is a micro fighter set, it's all about mini vehicles with minifigures in them. So uh, there he is driving the turbo tank. Not too bad. The wheels roll pretty nicely um, on really most surfaces. And uh, yeah, not really too much to say here, but I do think it looks pretty nice. And a uh, nice little display model, just like that. And uh, playing with it, I mean, is pretty easy. So, yeah, it might be a bit easier to play with, though, um, if you have the AAT Micro Fighter. But anyway, that's it for the tank. Let's take a look at it. So, here is one of the most highly anticipated new minifigures from the LEGO Star Wars line. This is the Phase 2 Clone Trooper from Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. And uh, this is the only set you can get this figure in. Which is interesting since it's the standard clone trooper. I mean, you should be able to get it in more sets, but at the moment, you can't get it anywhere else. But anyway, very nice printing on the helmet. Uh, one little thing that uh, just sort of annoys me about this mold of helmet is when you look out from the side, it has that really sharp angle. I'm not sure if that's accurate or not, but it just looks kind of odd to me. I don't know why. Maybe because the rest of the helmet is so rounded, but very nice printing on that. Then you can see we have the standard clone trooper face introduced last year in the uh, episode 2 clones. Um, and same torso from those troopers as well. Just give you a look at the back. And uh, finally we have a regular clone with leg printing, which very nice leg printing there. Uh, very cool to finally get standard clone troopers with leg printing. So, uh, yeah, very nice minifigure, very simple, but still awesome. But, uh, yeah. That's it for the set. Let's move on to the final one. So, uh, overall, I think this new Micro Freighters range is a pretty good idea. Um, is it better than the Planet sets? Well, I can't really say overall yet, but, um, you know, I think they did pretty good. As far as this set in particular goes, this minifigure is going to make this set sell very well. Uh, the playability is pretty good. I mean, you can roll it and flick it. But, I mean... That's not really a lot of features, um, so little kids might not be as, in, as into this as clone army builders are, but I still think it's a cool set, definitely worth picking up, uh, makes an easy gift as well, and uh, for 10 bucks, I think this is a pretty good new series from LEGO. Um, but anyway guys, it's going to do it for this review. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.